Three American pairs remain among the top seven in ice dance, and the U.S. women's hockey team will play for gold yet again. Hello, I'm Julie Donaldson. First, we see what a couple of well-known American skiers have planned for women's downhill. Women's downhill training underway, and Michaela Schifrin took her second of three training runs. Schifrin has said she would compete if she was among the top four Americans in training. With one training run to go, she is the fourth fastest on the U.S. team. Lindsey Vaughn was the top finisher in the first training run, but took her foot off the pedal on her second time down, finishing third fastest, learning the course, but saving some things for when it counts. I was trying to slow myself down. Um, I actually didn't want to win the training run today. Um, I don't, I don't like, I, I like letting other people think that they're faster. <laughs> I love a lot of mind games, huh? I, you know, in speed, there are a few things you can do to play mind games, so uh, I use every opportunity. <laughs> Whatever advantage you can get to freestyle skiing, women's half pipe. Defending Olympic gold medalist Maddie Bowman qualified in sixth place and hopes to become the first female freestyle skier in any discipline to win two Olympic gold medals. Fellow Americans Britta Sigourney and Annalisa Drew are advancing to the final, but teammate Devin Logan failed to get through. An event making its high-flying debut at these games, women's snowboarding Big Air. Athletes take to the sky off an almost 10-foot high jump, impressing the judges with their amplitude, execution, and with their landing. Austria's Anna Gossler showed why she is the gold medal favorite, scoring a 98 to advance to the finals. American Jamie Anderson qualified in sixth. She already won gold in the slopestyle competition and looks to add to her snowboarding success. Two additional Americans, Julia Marino and Jessica Jensen, also advanced. Figure skating short dance saw problems and poise. The team to beat Canada's Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer earned the highest short dance score ever, 83.67, and looked to return to the top of the podium where they were eight years ago in Vancouver. There was an unfortunate costume malfunction for the French team of Gabriella Papadakis and Guillaume Cizerone. The two-time world champion skated with incredible posure and fought through the distraction, finishing in second. My worst nightmare happening at the Olympics. Um, but you know, it happened in the few, in the few first seconds of the program and uh, I told myself I didn't have the choice, I had to keep going and um, that's what we did and I think we can be proud of ourselves too. Reigning U.S. champions Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue scored a personal best of 77.75 and find themselves in third place going into the free dance. Americans Madison Chalk and Evan Bates are in seventh place halfway through the event. And the Shibutani siblings continue to look comfortable on the Pyeongchang ice and are in fourth place. The Shibutani duo said that was the performance they were looking for. Right now, I just feel really proud of how we did, and uh, the score is better than what we did in the team event, and I thought that the performance was just so natural, and we had a lot of fun out there. It was, it was awesome. In women's hockey, Team USA looking to advance to its third consecutive gold medal game. The Stars and Stripes would have to get by Finland. Early in the first period, no score. Gigi Marvin in the right place at the right time. In front of the net, Marvin sends it home. Team USA takes a 1-0 lead. Late in the first, same score, Danny Cameronese intercepts the puck and goes top shelf to beat Nura Ratu. Team USA advances to the gold medal game, beating Finland 5-0. The 22-year-old Cameronese scored two goals in this one and is relishing her first trip to the Winter Olympics. It was awesome. The game was really intense, and I think our team played so well and put ourselves in a position to play in the gold medal game, which is what we've been looking for all year. Women's curling, Team USA taking on Team Denmark. Tied at six, going into the 10th end, U.S. skip Nina Roth with the last stone, and she makes it count. Denmark trying to sweep away a Team USA victory, but the Americans hold on, winning the match seven to six. Team USA improves to three and three. They have now matched their win total of the last two Olympics combined. Over on the men's side, Team USA against Team Canada. Canada looking to stop a two-game skid. The U.S. needed an extra end to upset the three-time defending Olympic champions, John Schuster. Seal the victory for Team USA in the 11th end. 9-7 is the final. Remember, you can stream all the events of the PyeongChang Games live on NBCOlympics.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Julie Donaldson.